Hey there, Cammie. Are you home right now? If you are, go and check your mailbox right now. I think if you go and do that, that you'll be in for a really nice surprise. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Is this a wedding invitation? Did you send me a wedding invitation? Ding, ding, ding! That's right! Harold and I are going to get married. I told you that it was going to be an amazing surprise, right? Well, it certainly is an amazingly bad piece of news, that's for sure. You realize I'm just going to throw this in the garbage, don't you? Wait, what? Oh, come on. Don't you want to be there for your twin sister's wedding? You wouldn't really do something so horrible, would you? Don't you even have a single kind word for your sister finally getting engaged? What are you talking about, Tammy? Do you really think I'm going to celebrate you getting married to my ex? You know that all this does is make me angry, right? Oh no, really? I had no idea it would upset you that much. I mean, it's already been two years since I stole Harold from you. Are you really still that upset about it? You really need to learn to just let things go. Do you know that? Even though we're twins, you and I are really nothing alike at all in some ways. You're right. I'm not like you. I would never try and steal your own boyfriend from you. I would never try and have an affair with anyone I knew who was in a relationship for that matter. And I would certainly never send a wedding invitation to the girl whose man I stole in the first place. Well, it's not like I wasn't going to send my sister an invitation to my wedding, but just think about it. Besides, we're twins. What's yours has always been mine, right? Anyways, you just need to get over yourself and come to my wedding. Who knows, you might even meet someone special there. Wouldn't that be something? Hey there, Cammy. I guess you heard the news about Tammy and I getting married, right? <laughs> so sorry things couldn't work out between the two of us, but I guess that's just the way the world works sometimes. Are you kidding me? Now I have to deal with you, too? Well, your sister was already telling me about how you're still holding our relationship against us. I just didn't realize that you still had all those feelings for me. I just think it's funny that you're still in love with me after all this time. <laughs> You are really out of your mind if you think that I have even an ounce of feelings left for you, Harold. I mean, you really think I care at all for the man who left me for my own twin sister? I hope the two of you have a terrible life together. Uh, you know, I can tell that you still like me by how upset you're getting at me over this. This just proves that you still have feelings for me. Honestly, it's kind of cute. You're always cute when you're upset with me. Excuse me? You are such a condescending jerk. Do you know that? I don't know. I thought you'd be happy that I was with your sister. Shows that I really was always attracted to you. It's just that your sister has the better personality than you, so... It was kind of just like upgrading to a better model. Like you would do with a cell phone. But your sister really does just run circles around you in the personality department. And thankfully, she's just as cute as you, but with a better sense of style and fashion. I do not want to be compared to my sister by you ever again. I mean, did you seriously just compare us both to buying a new phone? Who says stuff like that? But whatever, if you two love each other and want to get married, then far be it from me to stop you two. I just can't get over how people who look so similar can end up so completely different, you know? I mean, your sister Tammy is pretty and accomplished and just all around a really lovely person. But you, on the other hand, well, you don't have any friends. I was your first boyfriend, and you let me get stolen away from you. <laughs> you really should have seen this coming, you know. I don't care one bit about your thoughts on what happened between us. The fact of the matter is that I wasn't even talking to my sister until she sent the wedding invitation. And if you two are going to get married, then I don't see any reason why we should be talking anymore, too. I never want to see either of you again. Okay, fine. You don't ever have to see us again, but uh, you can at least come to the wedding. I mean, you can think of it as a final farewell to us, so just hurry up and give us your RSVP. We already have the best seat in the house arranged for you, so you can't miss it. Hello there. I'm terribly sorry to message you out of the blue like this, but I'm Harold's mother, Donna. I just wanted to make sure that I was speaking to Tammy's twin sister, Cammy, correct? Yes, this is Cammy, but may I ask what this might be about? 
Well, uh, there's something that I wanted to talk to you about regarding your sister, and I was hoping we'd be able to meet in person to talk. Yes, I suppose we could do that, but do you mind if I ask what all of this is about? I just... Uh, there's some things I'd like to know about your sister, if it's alright with you. For example, I was wondering if she might have done anything bad to you. Maybe something that might lead you to hold a grudge against her? I'm sorry, but I think we're going to have to start this topic all the way from the very start. What is all of this about? Oh, you're right. Where are my manners? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude and pry right out of the gate. It's just that, well, I'm just nervous about my son marrying your sister, but I didn't want to go to your parents about this. So that's why I thought to reach out to you instead. Well, I really don't know what there is to say about my sister. She's a cheery girl with lots of friends. What problem could you have with someone like that? The thing is that I got an anonymous letter in the mail, and they were warning me about having my son marry your sister. You're kidding me. Someone has been leaving you letters warning you about Tammy? That's right, and this didn't just happen once. I've gotten maybe five letters with similar warnings in them. Five whole letters? I can't believe it. And you have no idea who they're from? I don't, but my curiosity has peaked, and I have to know more about my future daughter-in-law. So, please, if there's anything you think I should know about her, please tell me. I have to know. Well, if you're really serious about this, then... Okay, I can tell you some things, but some of this might come as a shock. The truth is that Tammy actually stole Harold away from me. We used to go out until my sister came along and ruined it. You mean your own twin sister stole my son away from you? I had no idea that he was even with you. Well, it's true, and all of this happened about two years ago. That's when Harold and I broke up. Wait a second, I'm really confused by all of this. Why in the world would your sister and my son go along with doing that? I was shocked myself. Harold and I had been together five years before he left me. You two had been together for five years? Then what was it that finally made Harold want to leave you for your sister? In fact, now that you say that, Harold told me that he had been going out with Tammy for seven years. I asked where the two of them met, and they said it was seven years ago at college. They told me about how they fell in love and decided early on that they wanted to get married. He even showed me pictures of the two of them from back then. Well, then it sounds to me like Harold is saying that he was with my sister while he was with me. And if he showed you pictures of him and my sister from back then, it's more likely that it was really Harold and I instead. But this doesn't make any sense. How could this be? Because we're twins. Does this really not make any sense to you? My sister is my identical twin. And you mean to tell me that you two are actually that identical? Oh, that's incredible. Well, we're only identical in looks, let me tell you that. I can't believe that Harold would pass off our photos as if they were with my sister instead. All to pretend that they were together for far longer than they really were? I don't believe it, so... They're both lying about their relationship with each other, when the fact is that five of the years they say they've been together for was really with you? I can't believe that my son would just trade you out for your sister like that! Well, it seems to be what's happened, and I think I might have an idea of who was leaving those letters in your mailbox. After all, they're quite proud of what they did to me and brag about it to their friends often. But I think they don't realize that a lot of their friends really aren't impressed by that at all. Anyways, please let me take this chance to apologize for my sister's actions. Oh dear, you don't have anything to apologize for at all. If anything, I'm sorry for bringing all of this up all of a sudden. And I just feel awful now that I know what my son's been putting you through. I had no idea he was capable of being so horrible. Well, it's all over now, so I really don't mind. I don't even care that the two of them are going to be getting married. I just hope I never have to deal with them again. So please understand that if you don't see me at family events, that's why. Of course! Oh, that makes perfect sense to me. I wouldn't want to be around people that did that to me, either. In fact, I'm of half a mind to skip going to their wedding as well. But anyways, I'll have to have a little chat with my husband about all of this now that I know the truth. Thank you so much for talking to me about this, and once again, I really am sorry for my son's behavior.
Oh, wow. I don't believe it. You really showed up to the wedding? <laughs> oh, man, this is so sad and funny. I'm not sure whether I should be laughing or crying. What are you talking about? You were the one that invited me in the first place. I'm here, and now you're acting as if I'm somewhere I don't belong? I know I invited you, but it was obviously a joke. Don't you get that? I didn't think that you'd actually show your face around here. <laughs> Oh man, I just texted Harold and he said that he's cracking up. It's so funny, it hurts. Oh man, this is great. Okay, well, that was really funny, but you can turn around and go home now. Excuse me? Now you want me to just leave and go back home? Yeah, I mean, you didn't actually think that we had a place saved for you, right? It was all just a prank and you walked right into it. I don't believe you. What is the matter with you? Oh, come on. Did you really think we were serious? Why in the world would we want someone like you at our wedding? The answer is we don't. So just turn around and don't come back. You two really are just horrible. Do you know that? I mean, first you steal your own sister's boyfriend, then you have the gall to invite her to your wedding, and now you turn her away when she actually shows up? I only came here as a way of saying goodbye to the two of you. Great, and now we've said it. Now why don't you run along, okay? The wedding is about to start and we don't want you ruining the atmosphere. You mean you think that anyone else is actually going to show up to this? What is that supposed to mean? I mean that I'm the only person who was invited to this wedding. Are you sure you want your only guest to go home? I can't imagine it'll be a happy wedding for you two if I did. What in the world are you talking about now? Are you even reading what you're typing? All the guests are on their way as we speak. We sent out over 200 invitations, and you're saying no one is going to come? That's exactly what I'm saying. You rented out this whole space, but no one is going to come. And just what makes you so sure that you'd keep repeating that, huh? If you don't believe what I'm saying, then just look around you. But anyways, I can see where I'm not wanted. Enjoy your lonely, empty wedding! <laughs> What the heck is going on here, huh? What kind of game are you trying to play here? No one has shown up, and none of my friends are here yet. I told you that nobody would be coming to your wedding already, didn't I? After all, who would want to celebrate the marriage of a couple of haters like you anyway? What do you mean? I still don't understand. Is it really that hard for you to wrap your head around? You've been bragging to everyone about how you're going to marry the man you stole from your sister. Well, everyone who knew that that was what your wedding was celebrating was disgusted by that fact. So that's why no one is going to show up to your wedding. You have no idea what you're talking about at all. Everyone laughed when we told those stories. And they all congratulated me when I told them Harold and I were getting married. Are you sure they weren't just trying to change the subject as quickly as possible? Or that they were just fed up with you two and wanted to end the conversation as soon as they could? No, that can't be right. They all said congrats. They were all happy for me. That's why I invited them all to the wedding. And have you gotten responses from anyone since then? Has anyone shown up to the wedding at all? Well, Harold and I just figured that everyone was really busy with work, and that's why no one has shown up yet. But then not answering doesn't mean that they're not going to show up to my wedding, right? Hmm, well, how's it looking over there for you right now? But, I mean, it's not just my friends who aren't here. Both our parents aren't here either. What is going on? What did you tell our parents? I didn't have to tell them anything besides what you and Harold did. Or how you lied about how long you were together to his mom. Everything that's going on there today is entirely your fault. Do you realize that? Wait a second. What do you mean Harold's mom? Are you telling me that you went and talked to her too? No, she came and talked to me. She has some concerns over you two getting married. She came to me asking about you, and I told her how you and Harold ended up together in the first place. You what? Why would you do that? What is the matter with you? You can't be mad at me for telling someone what you were already bragging to all your friends about. Now, if Harold's mom wanted to spread the truth to her friends and family and tell them why they shouldn't go to your wedding, that's up to her. But... We sunk so much money into this wedding. We were hoping to get a bunch of money from people as gifts. What are Harold and I supposed to do? That really is none of my business, but 
Sounds to me like you two are getting the exact wedding that you deserve. So be happy that you two have each other and figure out what you're going to do next. Just leave me out of it and never talk to me again. I heard through the grapevine later that even those that did show up to Harold and Tammy's wedding didn't even bring gifts. Meanwhile, the wedding itself ended up costing the two of them about $30,000 that they had to put down on credit. With no real plan of how to pay it back, the two of them had to take out a big loan to afford the event. They tried asking their parents for help, but no one was willing to lend them even a cent. All their friends had cut the newlywed couple off too. They were truly alone. After that, I heard from Donna that the two of them ended up moving to a new state to try and start their lives over. After realizing they had no friends or family in their corner, even their co-workers began to whisper rumors about how they had gotten together and what had happened at their wedding. Ultimately, the two of them couldn't stand the embarrassment, so they quit their jobs, packed up their lives, and left. I have no idea what happened to the large debt they racked up, but I'm sure they're still working hard to pay it all off. That was really the last news I heard about them, though. I have no idea where they live or what they're doing for work these days, and quite frankly, I don't think I'd have it any other way. I wanted to go to their wedding because I still, for whatever reason, Respected those two enough to want to say a proper goodbye, but what I got instead was so much better than anything I could have imagined. What made me so happy about this crazy episode of my life, however, was that it was through common courtesy and sympathy of others that all of this befell Harold and my sister. It gave me joy to know that people heard the way that those two talked about their relationship and that it was enough to alienate themselves from all their close friends and loved ones. I really didn't even have to lift a finger to get a revenge that I wasn't even seeking. Hey, Patty! How you been? Excuse me, but may I ask who this is? Hey, come on, you forgot a dear friend. It's me, Margaret. You know, your dear old childhood friend. You got me stumped. I can't recall anybody by that name. I don't have a friend named Margaret. Come on, stop kidding around. Think real hard. Margaret! Yeah, yeah, I remember. I blocked you online. How did you access me anyways? Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Why did you block me? I mean, we are friends, right? How could you block me? But I switched smartphones and got them blocked. Huh? Are you serious? Don't tell me you don't know why you were blocked. As I recall, there was something about stealing my boyfriend from me. I blocked you because I never wanted to talk to you again. So, maybe you should get your own life and stop interfering in mine. Huh? Are you still mad about that? Patty, I never took you for the hard-headed type. So you called me to make fun of me, is that it? If you have nothing to say, gonna block you. Sorry. I'm pretty sure the Earth revolves around the sun and not you. Goodbye. Hey, come on! Wait! I'm sorry. I contacted you because I wanted a favor. A favor? You want a favor from me? You really got the nerve asking me for a favor. Come on, just hear me out. Well, guess what? I got married. It's all official as of yesterday. Submitted the forms at City Hall. Oh, yeah? I'm bursting with joy. Guess who my new hubby is? Hmm, let's see. Okay, I give up. The correct answer is Daniel! Are you surprised? Say it! Surprised, right? Yeah, I know. Pretty shocked, huh? I mean, he was your ex-boo. Oh, yeah. That Danny, huh? You guys are still going out, I take it. I'm surprised it lasted so long. Yeah, if you played it right, you'd be his wife. Too bad, huh? Sorry, didn't intend to walk down the aisle before you. I'm okay with it. Do what you like. Besides, I really don't care what you guys do. To be honest, I'm relieved you guys are no longer a part of my life. Come on! I can almost feel the envy oozing out of you. And FYI, Danny fell in love with me. It wasn't some fling. Uh, what were you contacting me about? If you're just gonna yap all day, I don't have the time. Come on, wait! I messaged you because... 
We want you to come to our wedding! Huh? Are you being serious? Who invites a husband's ex-girlfriend to their wedding? Is it happy hour over there? I'm serious! I mean, you are my one and only childhood friend. Danny and I planned really hard for this wedding. I really want you there. Do you know how much he spent on her wedding preparations? $50,000! Can you believe it? And he was like, here, pay for it with this. And plop the cash on the table just like that. Don't you think that's awesome? I'm head over heels happy for you. I sent you an invitation, but I haven't received it yet. Did have RSVP on it. That's French for please reply. I've been waiting all this time for a reply. I never got an invitation. Well, I suppose you've always been a bit unorganized. Now it's time for the wedding, so I can't resend it. Just say you'll attend now and I'll take care of the rest. Uh, I think I'll pass. Do you really think I would go? Huh? Why not? Why won't you attend? You just said you don't care what we do. Come on, it'll be fun. I said I don't care, but I don't have to like it. You do know that I know your folks as well as Danny's. If I attended, it would be awkward as hell. I don't want to go out of my way to feel uncomfortable, so forget about it. Huh? Please, come on. You don't even have to bring a wedding gift. Just attend. I'm starting to sound like a broken record. I said no. I wouldn't go even if you paid me. A real friend you are. That's why you will never marry. If you attend the wedding, I'll introduce you to a bunch of nice single guys. You don't want to be single all your life, do you? Thanks for the words of wisdom. Anyway, I have a lot of work to do. Don't have the time. Also, too much of a hassle to go back to the States just for a wedding. Back to the States? What do you mean? I'm working overseas now. Got a new job a while back. Huh? Seriously? That's right. So I don't have the time or energy to attend the wedding. My husband's pretty busy around this time of year, too. Uh, wait. Patty, are you married? What did this happen? Why didn't you say anything? Uh, I'm sorry. Do I have to report everything to you? Who is this husband of yours? What's he do? Is he foreign? What's his job? I have zero obligation to tell you anything about my private affairs. What's it got to do with you anyway? Come on, no harm in telling me. Or is it some guy you can't introduce? Fat and bald, something like that. Yeah, I remember guys like that always fell for you. What's that supposed to mean? FYI, he's American. And I think you know him too. Huh? Who? I'm sure you know. Gary. Huh? Gary? Gary? Our classmate Gary? Wasn't his father the CEO of that major corporation? That Gary? You got married to Gary? You're pranking me. I know it. I'm serious. I guess we've been married going on five years now. Uh, wait. You know perfectly well that I had a crush on Gary for forever. Why are you, of all people, married to Gary? When I worked at my other office, we had an opportunity to work together and one thing led to another. I led the team that worked closely with Gary's company. We also lived nearby, met often for work, and eventually privately. Then before we knew it, we were married. That's not fair! Give it back! Huh? Give what back? Gary! He's always been my guy! Why is he with you? Sorry, but he is definitely not your guy. Besides, you never even went out with him, as I recall. As a matter of fact, Gary said you were stalking him. Says he almost called the cops. Hey, is Gary there with you? Let me talk to him, please! I'll convince him that I am the perfect girl for him. Please, let me just talk to him! Sorry, he says he'll pass. Says he never liked your self-serving ways, especially your forcefulness. You really should take it down a notch. Besides, what do you plan to do even if you do convince him, which would never happen, of course? We're both married. You are aware of that, right? I'm going to marry Gary, and nobody can stop me. I am way better for him than you. I'll trade him for Danny. You take Danny and I'll marry Gary. Swap husbands. Uh, Margaret, are you on drugs? Swap husbands? 
How is that even possible? I thought you guys fell in love. No, I always loved Gary. He was the only one. I started going out with Danny because Gary just didn't seem interested in girls. So, what do you say we all get divorced and start over? Then we get married to our true loves. Come on, Patty. You always like Danny. You can have him back, so please. You get back with Danny and I live happily ever after with Gary. Everybody's happy. Okay, when do we start? Never going to happen. Everybody will just end up being miserable. The whole idea is totally preposterous. No way I'm getting back with him. Why? Why did you do this? Why did you tell me you got married to Gary? You didn't even invite me to your wedding. Why would I do such a stupid thing? Besides, we only invited family and close friends to her wedding. Nothing elaborate. Oh, yeah? Figures. One of those cheapo weddings, huh? Unlike you, we invited all our friends and relatives and spent close to $50,000. So there. A real extravagant wedding, to say the least. Oh, yeah? Our after-wedding party was quite an event, though. All our friends and office people showed up at the after-wedding part. Really was unforgettable. We had close to a thousand people attend. A thousand? No way! Uh, how much did all that cost? Nah, it wasn't that expensive. Probably covered the whole thing with monetary gifts. Everyone gave like 100 to 200 euros each. But that's just an after-wedding get-together, right? The wedding is the important thing. Just a family and close friends. How cheesy. For me, we're going to have an extravagant affair at one of the top hotels downtown. Limousine and all. How about you? Where'd you have the wedding? Our wedding? We held it on Santorini Island in Greece. They say it's the most beautiful island in the world. The scenery. It was breathtaking. We only invited a small number of people, so we were really able to enjoy the scenery. Gotta say... It was the happiest day of my entire life. What the hell is going on here? You, of all people, marry the love of my life. You have a wedding in Greece, for God's sake. Congratulated by all your friends and relatives. This is not happening. To be honest, I really don't know what you want from us. Just enjoy it. An extravagant $50,000 wedding. Sounds great. Go for it. Life's too short. You should be happy. Uh, wait, is the reason for inviting me to the wedding? You don't have enough people showing up. Didn't get many of those RSVPs back or something like that? Okay, I get it now. That's why you wanted us to attend. That's not it. That's not it at all. A bunch of people's attending. Friends, people from the office, everyone. Oh, really? Maybe I should attend. Check it out for myself. I'm curious about how many people are going to show up. I changed my mind. I don't want you to attend. I've officially uninvited you. Stay away from my wedding. Calm down. Don't worry. I never intended to go anyways. But I gotta say I was surprised Danny married you. You roped him in nicely. I'll give you that. What do you mean by that? Well, you know. He was a pretty well-known womanizer back in the day. Huh? When I was going out with him, he was always two-timing me. He was going out with three girls at one time. He loved those nightclubs, practically lived there. I got in his case about it a couple of times, but he wouldn't stop. Drinking until the wee hours of the morning, spending money on bar girls. But you know all that, and you accepted him. You're such a kind and understanding person. Uh, what's all this? I never heard that. Two-timing nightclubs, bar girls? Huh? Don't tell me you didn't know. Oh, golly. Forget what I just said. I just made it all up. A joke. Wait, no one told me? How could I forget that? You didn't make it up, did you? It's no joke, is it? Hey, calm down. You'll change once you get married. Oh, you are married. Once you start your life together. I mean... Don't worry. Everything will turn out okay, I think. If he doesn't change, what do I do? No way I can go through with this. This is not happening. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Uh, Margaret, can I go now? My kids will be back from kindergarten soon, so... Kids? Do you have kids too? Yeah. 
The older one is four and the younger one is two. I have to go pick them up. Gonna hang up, okay? Why do you get to be so happy? This is totally unfair. This is total BS. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm really busy, so I'm gonna hang up now, okay? See ya. Have a good life with Danny. After that, I took this opportunity to block Margaret's line messages. I changed my cell phone number too, just in case. After a while, I got a call from my mother, who still knows those circle of friends. Apparently, Margaret forced Danny to admit his two-timing ways. But Margaret's forceful badgering didn't sit well with Danny, and the two ended up in a furious argument. Although newlyweds, their romantic honeymoon was short-lived. I hear they are currently separated. The wedding ceremony was postponed, but the cancellation fee they were forced to pay was pretty significant. I hear it's probably going to be an ugly, drawn-out divorce.